project is to design and build a fluid power gantry crane that is capable of lifting 50 pounds and moving horizontally and vertically in a workspace. Future students will use this project as a test bed in both fluid mechanics and feedback control. The basic function of our crane is identical to that of an industrial sized gantry crane as, uh, in that the crane will be moving an object across the workspace. However, our crane is on a much smaller scale than an industrial gantry crane. While we will be moving across a classroom, an industrial sized crane can be used to move objects across a warehouse or a loading dock. Studying here at a university in the United States has always been a dream of mine. Being part of a project like this, which allows us to apply our theoretical knowledge to a practical problem, is something that I always wanted. Here at Lawrence Tech, with the sponsorship of the National Fluid Power Association, I can have more this great academic opportunity, which will certainly contribute to my education, professional skills, as well as help the study of other students in the future. The mechanical structure of the gantry crane, a simple but effective mechanical design was created. The structure consists of two T-frame sides with swivel caster wheels and a 10-inch beam connecting them together. The trolley moves across the beam and supports the load that is being moved. The shelf was also created to support the air compressor, the control system, and the electrical power. The air compressor supplies the power for our low-speed pneumatic motors, which drives the trolley. We selected pneumatic power for easy to use, reliability, and safety. The mechatronic portion of our crane design is based off of a pneumatic H-bridge concept. I tested the pneumatic H-bridge concept here in LTU's Mechatronics Lab. The basis of the H-bridge is to have flow control to control the speed of our motors and also the crane hook, and then to have solenoid valves, which are basically on or off valves to control the direction of travel, so either up or down or left or right, depending on which motor this H-bridge is on. Each motor will have an H-bridge set up on it, and it will also be controlled by an electrical circuit that I've tested out here with Arduino Uno programming. The operator will control the direction of our crane via five push buttons on a tethered remote. This is a prototype of the remote here. The first push button will act as a safety enable uh, that must be pressed at all times in order to allow for motion of the crane. The other four push buttons are going to be up, down, left, and right control of the crane hook. The overall speed of our Grantry crane hook will be controlled with a proportional regulator located on the main pneumatic line just after the air compressor. This will allow the operator to control the speed of the crane by controlling the pressure uh, being supplied to the motors. This adjustment can be made by the operator via a potentiometer that will be located on the tethered remote. Next stage of the project will be the fabrication of the crane. We will use the College of Engineer Fabrication Lab to construct the control circuits, mechanical structure, and software. In May 2014, we will demonstrate our project to the LTU Mechanical Engineer Department. 